Welcome back in today's KD Sunday Spotlight. We're taking you to Plum Borough. That's where one nonprofit is carrying on the legacy of a mayoral candidate through its work in the community. There's an angel in the outfield at the Living World of Plum Church. His softball number was 30 and the plum colors are purple, yellow, white. Plum Borough in sports, two of Sean Marcelino's favorite things. Second to close connection with his family, including sister <laughs> Vanessa McLean. Yeah. In fact, the last night that I spent with him, he was singing Baby Shark on the karaoke machine with my daughter. So <laughs> till three in the morning and I'm like, okay, she has to go to bed. He was the life of the party running for plum mayor. Every memory I have of him is funny. And that life of laughter, love and hope came to an end too soon. At just 40 years old, he collapsed suddenly on the church baseball field from an aortic aneurysm in June 2021. The loss still stings. That period of time where you realize Sean didn't move away this time, it set in, so. But the memories for his family stay forever. His smile. Like if I had a bad day at work, come home, he always called me Pops. <laughs> I'd say, hey Pops, can't be that bad. And then he'd give you that certain smack on the back. Sean passed away playing softball on this field. Pastor Alan Drake covering first base while Sean played catcher. And all of a sudden out of nowhere, I just saw Sean take himself out of the game and collapse uh, on the sideline of uh, on the benches. Now the shock, sadness and loss transformed into positive power through the Sean Marcelino Foundation, his sister set up and it's rejuvenating the field first. That's what Sean would do. He wanted to bring this community together and make Plum a better place. This is what he really wanted to do. Out of the ashes of this situation, something really good for the church and for our community is happening. The field seen decades of wear and tear. Now it's moved, been leveled, has new red dirt and a backstop. It's just really been amazing. First of all, we, we didn't realize how expensive it was to do this. Um, you know, just to put the backstop up, to redo the surface of the field, thousands of dollars to do that. Our community donated all of the funds raised by Sean's family through the nonprofit. It's going to run up here and then up this side over here. And people have been in the Plum community have been so great with this field. We just had a company, a fencing company, come forward and they're donating their labor. Vanessa says bigger plans are on the way with a fence coming in June and a scoreboard in the fall. We'll have a wireless scoreboard going up over in the right corner here. Since Sean passed, the nonprofit even donated equipment to Special Olympics, creating something good from a devastating loss. I think he would be super proud of where we're going with the foundation, where we're going with the, the field, the church's field. And I think every night that they play on it, he's up there watching. It's a new beginning for the field, the family, and community, all in the name of Sean. These were his cleats that night. I've kept them, I've kept the dirt <laughs> that was on them. With endless possibilities to make a positive difference in Plum. Once the field's done, the nonprofit wants to help kids get sports equipment who can't afford it. And to continue its work, the Sean Marcelino Foundation will hold its annual golf outing on September 7th at Rolling Fields Golf Club. Right now, they're looking for volunteers, donations, and sponsorships. You can find contact information for the Sean Marcelino Foundation in the story at kdk.com.